Let's start off with Nintendo, our most anticipated games of next year. It's kind of complicated because the Nintendo Switch, we're in that transition period where there aren't a ton of confirmed games. A lot of it might be conjecture, which I'm not averse to getting into, Um, you know, acting like we know what's going to happen when we have no clue at all. Um, Of of course, we have the entire slate of Wii U titles coming out next year. Who can forget? I could. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, there, no <laughs> there, there are literally none except. For, or no, there are. There's like, Zelda: Breath of the Wild is going to be on Wii U. Yeah, that's uh, all you need. That will be on Wii U first, right? And probably Just Dance. So they haven't said they've been nice. really cagey uh, about. It. Like I felt like when they first announced it, they they had they had implied they would come out at the same time. So they said Zelda: Breath of the Wild is going to come out on Wii U and NX, and I think everybody implied that that meant they would come out at the same time, and they've been very clear after that after the fact saying that's not necessarily the case so i think they're just covering their ass in case breath of the wild is going to come out on wii u and then later on the switch platform although if it's not a launch game I, that's just a huge mistake they yeah, have to do yeah, the yeah. Wii gamecube thing where this is the zelda game that bridges that gap was this simultaneous on wii and, and GameCube? gamecube it was uh, the same day no no it, so it came out i actually think it came out a little bit earlier for wii and then it came out afterward for gamecube and then they I, just I mirrored them because mm-hmm. i remember i played it on gamecube first despite the fact that it came out afterward and i liked it on gamecube more just because i didn't have the finicky motion controls it was still a novel experience at the time but yeah breath of the wild i remember i was talking to pete and I was saying, like, uh, if they do release simultaneously, obviously the Switch is what you want to go for. But mm. who knows if they're going to do that. If they just release on Wii U right away, then that's what I'll play it on because that game was fun as hell. That's probably my not just my most anticipated Nintendo game next year. That's my most anticipated game. Uh, all three of us played it at E3. I mean, Rob, are you, a, like, like, historically a big Zelda fan? I mean, I've lost touch, but I will say that, I, you know, like, Ocarina of Time, I've beaten, like, four times. Mm-hmm. Like, that is... Just an amazing game, and I think about like in my experiences with with video games, like that is just such a game to adore. And yeah, everything we've seen at E3, I'm right there with you. It it is by and large like my most ante- anticipated game, yeah. and you know I'm gonna buy that Switch. I mean, I don't, I don't have a, I don't own a Wii U, so that's where I fall in, right? Like I'm part of that market, but it's still weird, right? Like you mm-hmm. want if you're gonna, I don't know, yeah, if you're gonna release and launch a console. Or they, they could do it like they do with the Wii and GameCube, where they're like, we'll put this out on Switch, we know that's going to push consoles, and then we'll put it out on Wii U afterward for people that didn't want to upgrade. But right. You have probably the most well-known video game franchise at your disposal. You might as well use it to mm-hmm. pimp your console. But yeah, that the preview at E3, that was one of the ones where, I mean, even just from that, I think we all played like an hour or something, 45 minutes, and then we all came back to our E3 war room, the news, like the press room, and we were all just be like, dude, did you know you could do this? And then Dave Jewett from the UK was like, I like seesawed, like catapulted myself up. We're like, you could do that? What the fuck? And then like just from an hour long demo, we were doing that. I can't imagine what conversations around this game right. are going to be like when we play the full 20 to 30 hours, whatever it ends up being. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's my most anticipated game period in 2017. It feels like such a modern Zelda. Like, not just the tablet, whatever thing you have as yeah. a character, but it's things like the snowboarding, like just taking your shield and just snowboarding down and carving up some slopes. I don't know. Like there's so many elements of that game that they've adopted uh, that just make it so freaking exciting. I it don't know. Is, it is weird because, you know, they're borrowing kind of from a link between worlds and in, in the uh, idea that you can just tackle these dungeons in whatever order you want. At least that's what they're saying. And it's like an actual open world. But at the same time, it it's the closest we've gotten to the original Zelda. Mm-hmm. You know, like just completely open-ended. Zelda, you'd have to find your way and figure out what you're doing. But obviously, technical limitations is not going to be nearly as big as Breath of the Wild. But Breath of the Wild seems like a modern Legend of Zelda as like the original Legend of Zelda, which is super exciting for people that like, you know, there are people that decry every single Zelda after like the first game. There are the people that think like every game after that. Well, they're insane. They're, I know. They, they would have but, to be. It's it's not you know it's not like item gating like my favorite Zelda my favorite game period is Majora's Mask and it that's nothing like the first Zelda mm-hmm. but Breath of the Wild looks like it's taking like modern sensibilities like to satisfy modern palettes and combine it with like like a lot of things like Doom returned to its roots this year right. seems like Resident Evil might be doing that we'll be talking about that later in the show uh, just a ton of games like I don't know Final Fantasy kind of branched off but a lot of these iconic franchises seem to be kind of getting back in touch with what made them great to begin with which is exciting well speaking about the technical limitations of what Breath of the Wild will will, will other Zelda games would have been like like there will have to be 
some scaling back for this because this is a game that runs on Wii U, just like the Wii and GameCube version. We don't know a lot about what the Switch's capabilities are, but but I guess some of the games that have been teased, I'm not even sure what we're getting with them. Like, so we are pretty sure there's going to be a Mario Kart experience of some type. There's going to yeah. be a Splatoon experience of some type. And a 3D but, Mario, right? And a 3D Mario. That looks completely new, but with Mario Kart and Splatoon, are these going to be updates to an existing game? Do, if you have them digitally, are you going to be able to tie into that somehow? Because it, it has a, or we've been told, and we've seen it, that it doesn't have a disc system. So you're not going to be able to use your Wii U disc in this. It has to have a separate cartridge. Okay, right, yeah, so what, would it be just people thinking it's a port of the Wii U version to the Switch? It doesn't look... What else could it be? What we saw of Splatoon and Mario Kart didn't look substantially different. Yeah. It, so it, so w- what is it going to be? You're saying that, like, you could, you know, you could buy your spe- specific console cartridge or disc, but you're saying, are you advocating that, like, maybe it's worthwhile to do, like, an eShop thing? Like, would... Purchasing the game on like eShop then allow you to play it on both. I feel like they have to. I mean, yeah. Nintendo has always been really behind on that, but they've also had great backwards compatibility. Generally, every console has been backwards compatible with the generation before that, and this is the first one. This is the first major console in a long time where that's impossible unless they have some other peripheral. So, if I already own Splatoon, what's going to make me want to buy this? Is is it going to be a full price game? Like, would that be a new experience? Would this be a twenty dollar? additional like just competitive thing like I, i'm really curious how that's going to work like splatoon is obviously going to be another game there's going to be a splatoon 2 at some point but i don't think that what we saw when they teased it was splatoon 2 that felt like the splatoon we already play just with more competitive options uh to go on to another title justin you mentioned a rumor that there might be a third entry in the pokemon sun moon mm-hmm. group on the switch so so we know they, there's that there's going to be another Pokemon game. They've been clear about that. And I, I think the rumor, the conjecture right now, is is just like the old Pokemon games would have a third iteration that came out about a year afterward. Uh, like uh, Diamond and Pearl would get platinum, or uh, red and green got yellow. That some people are conjecturing that we're, from Sun and Moon, we're going to get stars or something along those lines. And that will be a Wii U exclusive version of Sun and Moon. I have no idea how that would work. Like, is that... Is that just going to be an upscaled 3DS version? Because the 3DS version of Sun and Moon is already pushing the 3DS to the limits in a lot of ways. You you don't get a lot of games that have slowdown on the 3DS, but Sun and Moon is actually pushing the 3DS a little too far, even Mm. on the new 3DS. So so I think that's believable. And then, uh, I mean, as as far as third-party titles go, Mm -hmm. you know, people are starting to announce, kind of confirm. uh, Was Skyrim officially confirmed as of now, or is it still weird? So it's not official, but it's it's really weird. If you have a launch trailer for a console, and you have that much time on screen dedicated to a game like Skyrim, like, I think maybe Bethesda's just not ready to announce it. They wanted to do that on their own time. Uh, It would be really weird if that is not a confirmed game. But that's real. I think that's really positive in the the grander scheme because it means Nintendo is thinking about third parties again and not just like making separate titles for the Switch, but here, you know, tapping into the zeitgeist of what are the big games right now. Skyrim is is huge. Getting that onto the Switch, like that would be a really crazy, amazing experience. You'd have a portable Skyrim. Yeah, and then to look a little farther ahead, there's uh, a couple of smaller teams announced games for the Nintendo mm-hmm. Switch. Seasons of Heaven will be an exclusive, but it's it's not released in 2017, despite that being our conversation. This is a 2018 Switch exclusive, but it's about it's from a French studio. It's about Jan, a young boy with Asperger's syndrome, and his French bulldog Ani. Both characters are playable, and according to a Google translated article from French game blog Game Blog, <laughs> the title is currently running on Unreal Engine 4. This is all from. Uh, GameSpot article by Jason Imms. Uh, and then also there is The Sacred Hero, which will also be on PC, but we don't know a ton about it. It's, just, mm-hmm. it's from a developer, Simplistic. Um, but that is also slated to release in 2018. So that's two of the smaller titles. I did want to look at possible conjecture. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think all of us kind of hope Metroid's going to come back in a big way at some point, whether it be a you know first person like Prime or... You cool. Know, we third had, person. This generation, we haven't had a, a Metroid game. We had nothing on the Wii U. On the 3DS, we had Prime Federation Force, right. which, which I just, wasn't a fan of. I don't think. I don't think many you, people were. You there. don't count that as a Metroid. Yeah. You know? <laughs> uh, like going back to that, the first person roots. Like this is this would 100 percent be the time to do that, and especially in the U.S. Like Metroid Prime was such a such a popular series, such a popular direction to take that Metroid formula. 
it would be insane not to go back to that. Yeah, I mean, it seems even more so than the Wii U that Switch seems tailor made for a, some sort of you know classic Metroid game between the handheld options available mm-hmm. and the actual just you know I don't think it'd be that hard to. Mm-hmm. I, I'm kind of I'm you know being reductive, but I'm. I just want a 2D Metroid game or even a Prime game. I love the Prime trilogy, even Echoes, which I think a lot of people say is their least favorite. I just I want a Metroid game really badly. And if Breath of the Wild and a Metroid game, were, I'm already sold for the Switch. Like, I really want one. And if they brought a Metroid out next year, that would just be a game breaker. It would is, be weird if they didn't. Oh, sorry. Is, uh, is the Switch going to be touch screen? Was that confirmed or not? I, I feel like they stylus. haven't. Yeah, I feel like they haven't said specifically one way or the one way or the other. <laughs> there, it, that's still rumor. It's a conjecture that there is some capacitive surface on it which responds to touch. But Nintendo has not said. Like, I don't think we're going to learn any more concrete details about the system until January. Mm. So yeah, January is the next big like uh, news. That's when the next news rolls out for the Switch. Mm-hmm. Uh, what is the tentative release? March. Uh, tentative releases sometime in March. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, and we'll probably, we'll definitely learn that in January. So January, I think 13th, they're going to have a press conference, which, you know, you can watch on GameSpot.com. Uh, that'll be from Tokyo. And then soon after that, we're going to have events all across the globe. So our Australian office, our UK office, and here in San Francisco, we're all going to get a chance to uh, to try it out. Cool. So, yeah, those are the games we are looking forward to for uh, Nintendo in 2017. Let us know if we missed any in the comments and uh, tell us what you're excited for.